Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is another alleged U.S. government data breach. Early this week, an attacker released a trove of private information about U.S. government employees. Basically, he released around 2,000 records from the DHS, or Department of Homeland Security employees, and around 9,000 FBI employee records. And these contain things like the, the name of the employee, their title, uh, their email address, and maybe things like phone numbers. Now after releasing this trove of information, the attacker also used a Department of Justice email address to contact a well-known news publication called Motherboard, and he described to them how he actually breached the government's network. According to him, he first gained access to this DOJ employee's email account. Now he does not say how. It could be lots of things. Maybe he fished this particular employee. He could have guessed a common password. Or maybe he used one of the passwords that are out in the public based on some sort of password breach. In either case, he somehow gained access to a DOJ employee's email address. He then used that to try to access the DOJ's web portal. He was not able to actually access the web portal using this particular employee's password, but what he did next was actually call up the support for this web portal. And he basically pretended to be a new employee and he couldn't figure out how to gain web access. Long story short, the person he talked to actually gave him the token necessary to get through the web portal, which gave him apparently access to virtual machines that that particular DOJ employee had access to. Long story short, he looked at all the data on those machines. He claims there's over one terabyte of data. He says he stole 200 gigabytes of data, and in that data was some of the stuff he leaked publicly. Now, we don't know how much of this is really true. What we do know is the leaked data, the employee data, is actually accurate. The email addresses and phone numbers do seem to work according to Motherboard. But we don't know if the alleged hacker really actually breached a network to get it. Perhaps this is public data. There might be a number of other ways you might stumble upon it. In fact, the Department of Justice actually responded to the Motherboard's article, and they actually claimed that there's no evidence that they know of of a breach. However, whether or not this is really true, it is yet another learning experience. You know, a lot of the time I focus on technical hacks, things like malware and exploits and different technical ways bad guys can forcefully break into your network. But you cannot forget social engineering. It's very common for hackers to actually call up tech support and try to spear fish people into giving up more information than they could. In fact, the well-known hacker Kevin Mitnick was more known for social engineering than actual technical hacks. So it's very plausible that something like this could happen. So whether or not this really is a true hack, it's a good learning experience. Be aware of social engineering and make sure your employees understand a bit about it. When people are calling them up, they really need to validate the people they're talking to before they give away sensitive information. Anyways, just an interesting story. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.